Raven Nation all day, 100%, my man. Let's go do this. Let's go all the way. Let's get into the Super Bowl. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like Lamar Jackson and their quarterback Jaden Daniels kind of play a similar style. Like, did you did you feel that same way watching them? Like, no, Lamar Jackson is superior, and of course he's gonna win. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, I, I was hearing they said it was comparing him to Tom Brady. I was like, F out of here, boy. <laughs> hitting them passes. Yeah, he did his thing today, boy. And uh, I ain't know the other kid, but he was balling. He, he competed. He stayed yeah, in there. He looking good. He looked good. They the best they ever looked. Mm -hmm. Keep on shining, little guy. Mm. That 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 spark in the beginning. Mm -hmm. It only brought him back to look even better. Well, my assessment of the game today was it was a very hard-fought game by both teams. Um, obviously, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, they did more to come out to get the victory, you know, uh, running the ball well with Derrick Henry and uh, Lamar Jackson with those high uh, completion high completion throws, man. The Bears came out. They did exactly what I thought they was going to do. Daniels, he performed as expected. He did a great job. Ain't no doubt about it. Uh, but, hey, Lamar Jackson. Two-time two MVP, my man did his thing. King Henry, the king, baby, <laughs> the king, right there. He did his thing. We got, my, hey, we got that W. It's all that matters. Is Lamar a soon-to-be three-time MVP? I believe so. I mean, that man is put out all time. You know what I'm saying? Like, he comes out, he, he throws up passes, he, he runs the ball, he hands it all to his, his running backs. They do their job as well. I think I think my man's on his way to get a three-time MVP. So now that you've seen, obviously you've seen Lamar, you know what he is, and you have another closer in Derrick Henry. How does it feel to have another closer besides Lamar like that you can really rely upon? And, and then I can breathe silence. Mm -hmm. Because all they gotta do is give it to him do your job and, and, and it does it well <laughs> and, he, hey, and, and, the, and the best at it so i'm not at, you're rusher in the nfl right now you know i i, I, tell him, I, I, I had a couple of dollars for him if he was going to leave you know, I, I told him i'm saying don't don't this Okay. Are you? <laughs> That's my boy. I'm just saying. He's that guy. Hey, go ahead. Uh, success will be uh, consistently going into each game, sticking to the game plan, which is the run game, uh, playing good defense, and uh, Lamar Jackson not making any mistakes, not turning the ball over, you know, just doing the right things with the ball. Is people are really hungry to trade for Devontae Adams. That is not traditionally a move that the Ravens make, as you like, you know. Do you think that's something that they should consider, though? Well, my personal opinion on this matter, and uh, I've been talking about Devontae Adams all week uh, with different teams, different fans. And to be honest, uh, the Ravens don't need Devontae Adams right now. They've got a good formula with the uh, Rashad Bateman, Zay Jones, Flowers. I said Zay Jones, sorry, Zay Flowers. Um, Mark Andrews, uh, finally, he's starting yes. to come back around with uh, Isaiah Likely, the other second tight end. I think this could be a very lethal passing game. Once they actually get everything going with chemistry-wise, right now the Ravens got the uh, formula for success in-house. So I think they should keep it in-house and move forward. Absolutely, Super Bowl, baby. We got to. I mean, I think we're missing a couple little pieces. And come trade deadline, I think we might be all right. We're going to get somebody on the back end to help out Roquan Smith. Mm -hmm. And, I, I mean, hey, Adams is still out there, dude. My dude Adams is still out there. I love Adams. That man is a beast. He wants to be a Raven. He's talked about talking about, about being a Raven. So, you know, I wouldn't be mad if we got him in here. You know, don't get me wrong. Flowers does a great job. Mm -hmm. Rashad Bateman does a great job. But I think we get a guy, a route runner like Adams yeah. in this joint. We have a complete package on the offensive side of the ball. It's interesting you say that because traditionally, as you likely know, that's not a move that the Ravens would make. Right. Do you think that that's something that they would do, though? I don't really think that I don't see that. I don't. Derek, we got Derrick Henry, we got Dave Flowers, we got Lamar Jackson. We're going to Super Bowl. Oh. Mark my words. We're going to Super Bowl. So when we win the Super Bowl, you play this back. We're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> so even after starting 0 2, you're fully confident they're going there. 100%. On defense. Mm hmm. Defense has got to step up oh. right now. Come on, I need that crushing line. Come on. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you, and that's the problem. So once I talk to each and every one of y'all, everything will be straight. Mm -hmm. I think you're absolutely right that if they get that type of route runner, that would open up everything for this offense. I agree 100%, dude. We need a route runner like Adams in this joint. He would do the same thing, kind of the same way like Bolden did and Smith did for us and a couple years ago. Do you think, I mean, if they end up not making that move and trading for, say, an O-lineman or something like that, do you think that they can still get to that point? I believe so, but we got to tighten up a little bit more. 
I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I don't believe in what we have as a team, but we do need a, a couple little pieces to help out. And if nobody's, if nobody's, if we're not going to do the things that we need to do to bring in the pieces that need to help out, everybody else needs to tighten up a little bit more. Yes. But if they tighten up a little bit more, we're on point. I think the first thing you mentioned is the most important is the defense because it looks suspect at times. Absolutely. I agree 100%. When we do a, a, a wide receiver screen against the, against the Bengals last week and he goes and takes it for 82 yards mm-hmm. for a touchdown, that's bad news. You know what I'm saying? That's bad news. We got too many good shutdown corners to allow that to happen. Wiggins is on top of his game. Hamilton is playing the best defense that anybody has ever seen all from an over-the-top safety. Yeah, mm-hmm. all bro for sure. You know, I mean, we got to do what we got to do. I would have to go defense, you know. Um, maybe get a little bit more defensive line help to go along with the rotation that they have. Um, maybe a cornerback or a safety on the back end Someone as a backup. Yeah, you know. But other than that, I don't see too many other glaring holes in this team. This uh, team could pretty much uh, go further than it did last year if they just continue with their formula and continue success. So if the Ravens do um, reach that level this season, what do you think that will do for them as a franchise and also for Lamar? Well, uh, obviously for the franchise, it will uh, add to an already storied franchise despite the franchise not being too much of 25 plus years old right now. Um, as far as uh, Lamar Jackson goes, I think it will be that big leap that he needs to take, you know, um, getting to that next step. You know, Lamar Jackson, he's uh, definitely developed. He's a proven two-time MVP. All he's missing is that uh, Super Bowl championship. And I believe uh, this is his best chance to get it this year. And the team seems focused and hungry, but um I'm really thinking, yeah, it'll do a lot for Lamar. You know, it will really get that camel off his back. Yeah. Remember, this is a two-time MVP. He's already proven that he can go out there and, you know, really do magical things on the field. But um, like I say, uh, he's more focused this year about taking that next big step and, uh, you know, getting to the next level and overtaking the Kansas City Chiefs because that's the only team (laughs) I see that's standing in their way right now. Absolutely. Well, is there, is there any final message you want to say to the Ravens or to Ravens Nation? Oh, yeah. Go Ravens Nation. And uh, keep up the good work. And uh, it, remember, it's one game at a time, one, one Sunday at a time. And just stay in the grind.